There's a freaking Stonehenge in the middle of Oregon. Well, I don't know if I'm in the middle of Oregon, but in the middle of nowhere, Oregon. Well, I said this trip was gonna be a test of the mind, the body, and uh, yeah, so far it's doing that. Nice hill, probably not gonna be able to see it because it's a GoPro. Coming up from there, valley floor. Google map bikes just uh, taking it for a wild goose chase, let me tell you what. Chooses the best best route, but they've all turned out to be very interesting so far. Either dirt roads or big ass hills. That's that's the best route for Google. So sick. Keep on pushing, baby. We're just out here cruising along baby kind of letting this knee chill going nice and slow i don't think i've really got over 10 miles an hour so far today gonna gonna try to ride like eight hours get 60 miles in something like that i don't know if that actually works out but got this nice sign i don't know if you can read it severe side wind ahead not quite ideal but you know, we out here, baby. We out here living. L-I-V-I-N. Kicking it back old school, baby. See if we can get some honks. <laughs> Dude, every driver I've done that to has put a massive smile on their face. And that's freaking what it's all about, man. We got another one coming up the hill. Let's see if we can get another. These new trucks don't really have the the cool ass pull down air horns like these old trucks, but I'm guessing this guy has one. Let's let's check it out. Uh -huh. Let's go. That's what we're talking about, baby. Well, just got done fixing a flat tire. Just thankfully, it happened in a place where I was able to find some shade because it's pretty hot out today. I'm in like Patterson, Washington, something like that, still right next to the Columbia. But uh, it was close to running out of water as well. And I stopped here at this coffee shop. It's called Farm Grounds Coffee. You're not gonna be able to see it in the GoPro. But stopped here, was fixing a flat and the lady that actually owns the place came out to uh, throw some trash out and I was able to fill up my water. She was kind enough to also give me some ice cubes and offer some extra bottles of water. So if you're riding across the country and are going through Patterson, Washington on the Lewis and Clark Trail, 
any time, well, any time other than a Sunday, stop in and get a coffee from this lady. She's an angel. Uh, she pretty much saved my ass today because I was close to running out of water. Yo! The first proper sign of the trip. Obliga obligatory, obligatory. Had to do it. Yahoo! Let's go, baby. We on our way. It's munching down a snack right now, not a stack, a snack. Look at this place. Reminds me of home. In Poudre Canyon, my old stomping grounds. Man, it's freaking sweet. Whole bunch of logs just ripping down the river. About to see some steelhead and some salmon soon, hopefully. It's supposed to start running. I don't know how long it'll be till they make it up this far, but it's pretty freaking sweet, man. L I V I N. Spelt like that because living's a verb. up y'all just left Kuskia Idaho I believe is what it is about like hour and a half ago small town super good cafe place is pretty sick slept in the uh, in the uh, what you call it the the, the 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 city park yeah city park and um, it was it was pretty neat just a uh, heads up for anybody else that's gonna do this pedal and come up through Kuskia and up over Lolo Pass like what I'm doing um, and you want to sleep in that city park sprinklers come on around 1030 yes yes they did should have known I've had that happen before from past experiences and journeys but um, yeah anyways just had to stop I'd take piss but I figured I'd stop at this place and freaking Idaho is sick, man. Look at this shit. I guess they don't, I guess they call it the Clearwater River for a reason. Cause it's pretty freaking clear and it's ripping right now. But if it was super hot today, this would be a perfect pool to swim in, but it's not super hot and I've already jumped in this river once and it is freaking cold man but it was refreshing because it was a super hot day but anyways just figured I'd say hello since I haven't talked to you guys in a while and uh gonna get back on the road Woo! I mean how can you not love this shit you got a river to the right we got big ass mountains to the left. We got big ass mountains in front of us. We got like a fucking two and a half foot wide shoulder. Shit man, fuck. It's hard to beat this shit. Out in the middle of nowhere. No cell phone service. This is fucking living. L-I-V-I-N. Spell like that because living's a verb, baby. Shout out McConaughey, green light. This is what we want. Yo!
It's freaking just mother, mother freaking. Look at it. We got some cars. Thankfully, since it's like middle of the week, Highway 12 has been a shit show for the last couple days. But here going up, uh, up Low Low Canyon, hasn't really been too bad. It's, uh, there's some few and far between, I don't know, some five minutes apart, some 20 minutes apart, just out here on the road, in my own thoughts, in my own head. Just loving it. Pretty freaking cool. There's some ferns in there too. Makes me feel like I'm in Jurassic Park, baby. Hopefully no mother freaking T-Rex comes out and rips my head off, but hey, at least it'll be quick. <laughs> Man, loving it. Freaking loving it. Get out there and go do some shit, folks. Doesn't have to be pedaling a bike across the country. It can just be pedaling to go to dinner night or going rock climbing instead of sitting on couch and watching Netflix. Just get out and do something. It'll it'll kickstart that feeling alive feeling. Make you feel like you're doing something worthwhile. Not that you guys aren't doing anything worthwhile. Don't get me wrong. But yeah, man. Just get out there and go adventure. Live it up a little bit. We only got one chance at this shit. So do what you want. Do what you love. You can legitimately do anything and be anything you want to be. That's why it's called life and living. Live it. Don't just sit in front of a computer for the rest of your life. Anyways, that's just my two cents, but you do what you want. But these views, make this shit pretty worth it. It's tough mentally, it's tough physically. You have good days, you have bad days, but it's going down canyons like this that really make you realize that this is why we're born, this is what life's all about. To go out and explore, do some cool shit. Anyways, I'm gonna let you go for now. I'm gonna keep pedaling and pedaling and pedaling and looking around and enjoying this shit. All right, love y'all, peace out. Look at that shit. Bam! This river is pretty gnarly. I'm gonna sit here for like three minutes, drink some water and see if any rafters come down. A whole boatload went driving by me so hopefully their pudding's just up here and they're getting ready to go for a rip bud that's some gnarly shit sheesh what is going on you radical humans just out here another day another stretch of pedaling um just came out of like the Bitterroot mountains i'm down in a valley right now uh where the big whole river runs through Montana, beautiful. It's just wide open valley with the mountains in the background. Still got snow on them. It's absolutely amazing. Couldn't ask for a better day. Nice little breeze. It's a little bit, a little bit of a tailwind. Sun's out finally. It's not raining. And uh, yeah, man. It's just being in places like this, finally on a highway where there's little traffic so I'm not getting buzzed by cars every 30 seconds and uh, the amount of, of gratitude and the ability to come out here and do this, um, do this trip by bicycle and uh, see this beautiful country at like 12 miles an hour is, absolutely amazing and 
something I'll remember for the rest of my life. It's uh, just a neat way to see the country just slow and steady and taking in the views. Hell yeah. Oh, you want to know what Montana looks like? It's beautiful. There is nothing flat about it. And you run into that quite often. It's a nice little storm. I'm probably going to connect with here in a couple miles. What up y'all? So I stayed in Dillon, Montana last night at this place. It's called Bike Walk Southwest Montana. There's the bike. Built by a gentleman named Larry in the community. Uh, there's a cabin over there that's camping. It's got a bike shop in it. It's another little place over here that's just like a hangout spot if you have a big propane tank, which I'm sure you don't if you're on a bike. There's just like a big two burner cook stove, a gazebo over there with power and like four stalls that you can camp in if you want to. And they're currently building another gazebo over there. Um, donation based, uh, feel free. Well, definitely if you stay here, throw in five bucks, something like that. But then you can come in to this main main cabin and you have a desk, still some cards, a whole bunch of stuff in here. It's pretty rad, books, tables, a whole bunch of maps. So if you need to figure out where you're going from here, and uh, more maps, little sign-in book where you can write notes. There's the donation envelopes. Over this way you have a full-on bathroom. What up, y'all? And then, best part about it, she come around this direction. Oh, the word we all love to see. Shower, full-on shower room, hot, cold, whatever you prefer, and uh, yeah, just a whole bunch of pens from I'm guessing where everybody's from in the world that's just been pedaling through, passing through, a little note board, but yeah, if you're coming through Dillon, Montana, Make sure you give this place a look-see and uh, talk to Larry. I didn't get to meet his wife, Lois, but I've heard good things. And Larry is the absolute man. He will uh, hook you up with anything you need and has nothing but a big old smile on his face. So, uh, coming through Dillon, Montana, check this place out. Heck yeah.